I met this man at a club. He ended up moving in with me. Okay. I did this man a favor. He doesn't have credit. I paid for everything, Your Honor. This whole thing has been a very stressful situation. Absolutely. Oh. You're a bum. Yeah, okay, he I said can't you get any Stop. Plaintiff Ashley Jimenez claims her ex is a bum who scammed her for a cell phone and a trip to Puerto Rico. She's suing him for $3,000. Defendant Lorenzo Moraira Moore claims the plaintiff knew he was between jobs and she helped him out financially because, well, they were in a relationship. He says he owes her nothing. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth? and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Your Honor. Hey, Najee, how are you? Doing well. Good. It's case number 001 on the docket, Jimenez versus Marrera Moore. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Let me see what we have here. The plaintiff, Ashley Jimenez? Yes. You are suing the defendant, and I understand your ex-boyfriend, Lorenzo Marrera Moore? Yes, that's correct. For $4,000 for vacation expenses and an unpaid phone bill. Why don't you tell me your side first, okay? Sure. So I met this man in 2019. We were together for about a year. Yes. I actually met him at a club. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys know that saying, like, don't bring a man home from the club. I don't know if you've ever done that, but don't I've do never it. brought a man home from the club, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Don't so, do it. I can honestly say that. <laughs> yeah, I've never... But go ahead. We did it for a year, and, you know, we were going strong for a little while. Were you guys living together? Yeah, he ended up moving in with me okay. for a little while, yeah. yeah. He ended up breaking his phone, so I had him come under my phone plan. Okay. It was under my name. We had a verbal agreement for him to pay his part. I paid my part. Everything was going strong for a while. It was one phone bill, but two phones. Yes. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. He was doing fine in the beginning. You know, he was keeping up with his phone bill. Towards the end of our relationship, he stopped paying for his phone bill, I think, in January. Of 2020? Of 20, yeah. Okay, of this year? Yeah. When you said he was paying his part of the phone bill, were you each sending, paying separately, or you would pay because it's your name and he would give you money? I had auto payment for my part. And then I think he would just pay in cash or like he would give me the money. So then I would just okay, so run it through my Okay, so you would pay your part of the phone bill directly to the phone company? Yeah, directly direct to the, the phone carry. company or I send, I'd have myself to log in because I can log in, you know, individually they let you do your own logins for okay. the phone. So I could log in and just pay directly through them or I have a sprint that's not that far over me. I just walk right and in you and pay split them. The, you split the bill 50-50. At the time, we did. Yes. But his cost more money than mine. You know, at the time, he had, like, the brand-new Samsung 10 or something. Oh, okay. It just yeah. came out. So we split it in half, and then towards the end, I was just like, you know what? You need to be in charge of your own bill. So you're suing him for $1,000 for, for, for unpaid phone bills? Right. You're saying he owes $1,000? Do you have evidence of that? The reason why he owes me that money is because of all of the charges that were added onto my bill because the disconnection fees, um, the late charges, like my phone was literally disconnected multiple times because he wouldn't pay for his part. When did he bill. let you know that he didn't want to be on your phone plan anymore? Oh, he didn't. Because I was chasing after him for the money that he owes me. I actually have text messages stating to her that you know, the phone was broken, stating to her that, hey, like, the phone's not working. I need you to put a claim in. She didn't want to go through a claim. I physically have it in my evidence. On your evidence? On my evidence. From C to H, there's our messages back and forth through, through a messenger on Facebook. When did you guys start on the phone plan? March of 2019. When did he stop paying? January. OK. And it took that and long when, because he kept making payment okay, plans. Okay, so and he not was making payments. It. You were making payments. Yeah. Until when she says you stopped in January. Your Honor, that's how long she kept putting it through. This whole thing has been a very stressful situation. Absolutely. If you actually look at, you know, evidence M, I actually went into my own 
my own phone bill. And that was in September. Uh, right here, I told, I told you that the phone was messed up. It didn't even turn on. As I stated before, I need you to give me access to put a, put a claim on it. So I don't know how I'm gonna pay phone if I can't even use it. Multiple times I asked her to put a claim. So in September, I actually have proof of usage. You see all of this? Yes. He's claiming to you, saying that the phone was off, he didn't make any messages, but here is all the I numbers that, that he was making in the month of September 24th through so October 23rd of 2019. I have a copy of that. She's right. You were using the phone in October. The only thing was that was for the phone that it was turned on was only to directly communicate with her because I didn't want her to have contact well, no, on my new number. Well, no, their phone numbers on there, their phone numbers on there that you were using that phone. Yeah, to whoever recalled, but I didn't think I had my own personal cell phone device, as you can see outgoing, in the last incoming, exhibit. Outgoing, All right. outgoing, you know, incoming. Okay, so I have a bill for $107. There is a bill of 250. That's the full bill, but his right. part would be half of it. As I said, on this whole it's, situation has been stressful. I've actually said, you know, if you want to look at evidence, say I actually have a note from my physical doctor. You're a bum. And what does it say? It says, to whom may this concern? This note confirms that Lorenzo Merrill started on Lexapro for general anxiety disorder since 412 of 19. Okay. So I've been seeing a therapist since then. And then my therapist, at the time, since, you know, going through all the stuff and the stress, told me, they were like, you know, I couldn't go to the points. There's points where I didn't, I was just so stressed that I didn't go, I didn't go to work. I didn't do nothing okay. like that. Okay, it says here you have you generalized to to anxiety you keep up with your bill. disorder. It was That's not sad. I, All right, I'm not, gonna make, I'm not making light of your anxiety disorder. You're in a relationship and things can get tough, Weak. which is a serious part that you, you have anxiety, but you, it, that's not it's, a defense to who owes what for the phone bill. Yeah, no, but it's- You it's, guys it's, agree- it's because of her. You yeah. need okay, financial well, advice, Okay, well, I didn't it's tell you therapy. to start going that's with her. That's what you her. need. You went home with her from the club. The only issue I'm interested in okay. is when you were told that he wasn't paying anymore, or he wasn't paying what he should be paying. As soon as you found that out, either from... When my he, phone got disconnected. He never told you before. What about these emails? What? What, what about emails when he says, I don't want to be on your plan anymore? Show Just me what that, that email was. Just because you said that doesn't mean you can't pay what you owe. So Sprint doesn't actually, care about your therapy you know, or whatever. So right they still want from their money. When, these when started did, way back just in give September. An answer. Yes. So in beginning of September, Right after, maybe, yeah, beginning of September. And when was he finally taken off the plan? When I paid it off. It, which was when? Um, three months ago. But what you paid off. I have receipts, too. But the point is, once he tells you, I got to be off the plan because I'm not paying anymore, or you saw that he was not paying anymore, but when he told you that, because your name is on it mm -hmm. from your own protection, you have then got to let the phone company know, take him off the plan. Oh, I did. So I... any bill that came after he told you is your responsibility. I did this man a favor. He doesn't have credit. This man uh, can't uh, even uh, open up a phone plan. Which so gets us to the next two I, years old. Hang on, hang on, the judge is speaking. Like, what was the date? Ridiculous. So. This is way back going through. I even said, if you look- So in even September, the, yeah. you, you have those- Messages are in September. Are in September yeah. when you say you're, you don't want to be on our plan yep. anymore. There was um, late fees. I had to reactivate that phone because no, none of that is free. I understand. And I had to do that multiple okay. times. How many times did you reactivate? A few times, like four well, times. Okay, so my question to you is, and then we're going to get off of this phone stuff. After the second time, that should have been a clue. Get him off the plan because he's not I paying. Tried. I tried. I tried, but no. I had to pay five hundred dollars just to get him off of no. the plan, and then I had to pay an additional three hundred. Okay. Because uh, that's what he was. He kept making payment plans, payment arrangements, and no. not keeping up with it. She had to pay to have you drop. 
I said, please send me the bill. Send me the statement so I know what has Why to be covered. Why do I have to do that? What has You're to be covered man. on my Okay, okay. She doesn't have to do that. If You're a grown man. But you how can am I supposed to, to, how am I supposed to know? Person, man. But like, how am I, I supposed to know understand. that what you... Well, you you're being You're told 32. Now. But if you tell me 500, how am I not supposed to have the physical evidence that you're telling me of the mom? She never sent me anything to show you me... You said you called Sprint, though. I right? called Sprint, and I couldn't... Okay, both of you, stop. You're not speaking Where to the Where is the evidence that you paid $500 to get your phone I back? I don't have that, unfortunately. Well, I can't use that then. It was your idea. Hey, why don't we go to, well, Puerto Rico? Yes. In August of 2019, I decided that I needed a vacation and chose to go to Puerto Rico. I ended up going with Lorenzo, thinking that it could help the relationship. Mm -hmm. You had already been with him for how long? About a year. You knew mm -hmm. him. And you decided it was your idea to go on this vacation. So the suit says you paid for the plane tickets and you also paid for the expenses down there. Mm -hmm. And you're suing because you want him to pay half. Yes, absolutely. Okay, you're saying you paid for the plane tickets? I did pay for the plane tickets. I even have it with me. I also have bank what statements to I prove that I paid for it. Okay, I, let me see the evidence of you paying for the plane tickets. What what I see here are my bank statements. Okay, you I see, see transfers what, coming what about out of a my and travel B? account into my checking. You can see that all these Ubers, you can see the food that I spent. I know, spent. I'm just talking plane tickets now. You know I'm not spending now. $50, $60 okay. on food for myself. Okay, Ashley, I'm looking at plane tickets, A and B. Okay. The first plane ticket is for Lorenzo. The ticket was $337. It's my bank statement. I physically have I it. I don't care. Right now, I'm not interested in the yeah, bank it's my statement. Car. What I have in front of me... Oh, you know what? Yes. What I know Hold is on. that a Visa card, because it yes, says... Yes, I method actually transferred that money to him so that he could pay for it on his account. So that was my mistake. I paid for everything, Your Honor, including flights, charges. We ended up staying there two more days because there was a hurricane. And that was All her right. choice to stay the extra day. Okay, okay. I got, this turned out not to be a real good time. And yeah. It was a horrible experience, and I, I wish I had never made that decision to And I understand that. Here's the deal. If I make a decision in this court that because you broke up, now all of a sudden people have to be paid back. That no, doesn't work. That that's pretty much what you're doing. Together, together at the time. If you were to, that's the point. If you were still together, you wouldn't be suing him. No, I would be because no, he, she he even told, told me. she even told me after right. the trip. I'm if, talking hang though, on, hang on. He told me I had text messages. I went to a trip to Jamaica and my phone actually fell into the water, but I had literal text messages of him saying, "I'm going to pay you back plus interest." I'm going to pay you back. Her plus phone interest. didn't fall into the water. <laughs> I wouldn't just say that for no reason. It actually did. No. Okay. Because you were the there. point is you agreed to pay her. He owes me more than just this. All I told her was because she kept harassing me to, harassing me to, oh, you need right. this, you need that. But Lorenzo, I work so that's, hard for my money. That's me work too, that. This is a relationship that went bad. He's broke. He doesn't, he no. can't even afford himself. The clothes that he's wearing today, I actually bought for him. No. So yeah. that's Okay, sad. that's not. Why that's did, my stop. That's Why did you do that? Because I felt bad for him. And no. as my man, I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> I expect you to do the same for me, broke or not broke. But we did go on a trip. You know what I'm saying? He told me. I didn't ask him, how much money are you going to bring to the trip? No, I just expected him to at least have a little savings account. If you can't afford the trip, don't come. She did ask me. Don't come. That's fine. I needed to get away for a little bit. I went away to be miserable. Did you at any time indicate that you would pay for some of this trip? With the funds that I had. I didn't understand. You're both adults. She admittedly asked you to go on a trip, which she now says, and most people could agree, probably was not a great idea. But you're suing for $3,000 in terms of the trip. There is no particular evidence. I know what the trip would cost, I don't see anything where there is a clear agreement on what he would pay. And 
she agreed that she would pay most of the money, apparently, because you I had told... I didn't agree. I had no choice. This man was going to starve in Puerto Rico, like... Okay, well, you... And therefore... And, I have and therefore, you decided to take him. It was a bad idea to, to go on the trip. He didn't have all the money, so here's what I'm going to do. For the $3,000 that this trip clearly cost, no one's disputing that. The question is, who owes what? And rather than look at every single receipt or text message, et cetera, that's no way to divide a relationship. You had a trip. You're not getting a free trip out of this. So 1000 to recover the 3000 that was paid, 1000 I will give you, the plaintiff, on your suit for that part. On the lawsuit regarding the phone payments, the records are so screwed up, but I will make him pay that 107. So I fine for the plaintiff in the sum of $1,107. I'm actually gonna donate that $1,000 to your cause. You're gonna need it. This is, this is not visible evidence from, you know, both sides to prove their amount. I'm just happy where I don't have to feel like I said to pay the full amount because that's not why I can't fight the rest of it, so. I'm just, you know, going with the three men. I'm glad that it's over and done with. I want that man to get out of my life. I don't want to think about him anymore. It's been a year since we've seen each other since this moment, so it's just going to continue just staying away from each other, no communication. Everything about that relationship was a whole regret. I was a sugar mama at 23 years old. Not a lot of people can say that. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, Click here.